mission. It's really, I'm really happy and honored to be here also like because like this week is Social Entrepreneurship Week and also because uh, I am Italian but I'm based in Malta. And in Malta, we are about to launch um, Social Entrepreneurship Association. The launch will be this afternoon. So it's really an important day for me and I'm happy to share with you my journey and the journey also of like social entrepreneurship in Malta that we are like carrying out together with other social entrepreneurs. Um, so my background is in international mobility and migration and cultural diversity. So I come from research and also I work a lot also with the nonprofit organization, the local level, national level or the international level. So when I came to Malta, I found, let's say a good ecosystem for starting uh, my journey as a social entrepreneur. And I took into consideration my, my background and especially uh, my idea was to help and to make, to have an impact and make a change because in many European countries, there is this fear of the migrants and the diversity and the fears comes from like the 2011 economic crisis or many other reasons. And the fears is also natural to a certain extent because all of us, we are afraid to change. So when I moved to Malta and if you haven't never been to Malta, Malta is really small. It's a tiny island in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, but it's really international. The Maltese, they don't have at the local level all the skills they need for uh, like all the companies and the businesses at the local market. So they need to like get and found the skills outside Malta. So most of the companies in Malta, they have an international workforce. They have a multicultural workforce, all the term that we want, we want to use. Um, so they're kind of forced to have the diversity at all the level, not only low skill jobs, uh, but in all the professions. But also Malta was used till a few years ago to have tourists mainly, and people going to Malta to study English. So to uh, like people that just used to go to Malta for a short amount of time. So the Maltese, like all the other, let's say European or human beings, they also have this like fear of change and fear of their society to change and become more um, diverse and multicultural, but at the same time they need. So for me, that was exactly the perfect place to start what I call global mindset development. And Global Mindset Development is my social enterprise, my company, and we do consultancy and training and services promoting intercultural management, intercultural diversity, and uh, cultural awareness. So we work mainly with other companies, try to promote in the companies um, to help them to become more culturally aware. And this is a, a work that we do internally with the companies with like HR managers and directors to help them to manage and value their diversity workforce. For me, this is the key, is not only to promoting the diversity, so who, to have numbers of people that are different, but to promote an inclusive workplace and inclusive society. And we also help them to work with international clients. So to find the best strategy to work and also use, let's say, the, the diverse workforce to explore international markets. And it was an interesting journey because um, Malta was uh, really like reactive in a positive way to, uh, to this, uh, of course, with all the challenges also of being a foreigner in Malta and being a social enterprise and, and, and also to all the challenges of like that the diversity can uh, bring. But it was a really interesting journey. Now COVID was like, despite all the disruption is also helping us to scale at the, at the international level. And also because like we do everything in English. And for me, that was like the key was make an impact and make a positive impact in the society. And for me, the other, just want to mention other two things that for me are extremely important I want to share with you. So the first one was like making an impact and making a positive impact. The second one was to link, for me is like, yes, social development and having a social impact. And you cannot consider things separately. So it's also, let's say the environment and the people. This is why I started since the beginning to work together also with other social enterprise, 
that they were working on sustainable tourism or promoting, let's say, sustainability in Malta. And so we developed team building and training together about environmental education and intercultural communication and intercultural education. And the third step, we realized that we needed a support network. So this is why also I think that projects like yours are extremely important. So this is why we created and we will launch today because finally, we got accredited a few weeks ago, uh, Social Enter Entrepreneurships uh, Association Malta, so SIM. And we are all women so far, but we will open for, let's say, other members. We work in uh, sustainability. So there are like a few companies that are in uh, sustainability, eco market, eco product, and eco tourism. And there are a couple of other companies like mine that we are in social development and CSR. So this is, let's say, the journey I want to share with you today. And I'm, I was really like honored to be here and I strongly like support you, what you have done and looking forward maybe to work with you in the future and maybe build also a partnership in a project. Thank you.